Howdy again, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Well, last episode, I managed to somehow come back after two weeks of not recording anything to have my sound settings change. So if my voice sounded weird, thankfully my webcam microphone was still on, or otherwise I would have gone through that whole thing with no audio. Audio problems aside, we did manage to defeat the highbrow challenge. We've already tried the head trauma challenge and failed it, but we also have when life gives you lemons and beans and several other ones. Which one to try next? How about when life gives you lemons? You blow those lemons to bits with your laser cannon. At least that's what I've always been told. So, we have the habit and the lemon mishap. Yes, what else we got? Uh, the 9 volt. So it looks like we'll be using lemons a lot. Which would be great if I was fighting enemies which could be destroyed by lemons. But we got a broken magnet. Which kind of works. I mean, it's definitely working right now. I seem to be moving a bit slowly. And my shot speed is terrible. Among other things. Let me look very carefully for things to get bomb about tinted rocks. You know, things of that ilk. I don't immediately see any. That's not to say they don't exist, it's just to say that I don't currently see them. And it looks like we've got two item rooms. But maybe one of them's a library. Bad room, bad room, bad room. Okay, we good. We have exclusively fought flying enemies so far. Hopefully, something interesting will come of this. Might as well just accept the idea of facing curse rooms right off the bat. Because I'm going to need every advantage I can get. Yeah, it appears like we're going to be able to use the lemon mishap in every room. So, I got two keys. Let's try them out. Ooh, this was a good one. The moon. Uh, takes us to a secret room, I think. Yes. And we immediately get the skeleton key. The game has mercy on me right off the bat, which worries me because that means that something horrible is going to happen. The Empress is... Um, gives me Whore of Babylon for a room, the Magician gives me Homing Shots for a room, and the High Priestess stomps the guts out of an enemy, so I am going to use this on whatever our first boss is. And then I can come back for the other thing. But let's go ahead and check our shop. Ooh. I re you remember me talking about the uh, champion bracelet. If I can find one penny in maybe the boss room, we can hope, then I can go back and get that. Okay, I'm bound to find a penny in here somewhere. Uh, that wasn't it. And he definitely avoided my lemon spill. Good job, Larry. Good job. You did, you did fine, kid. Now the time when we must pull together. Squeezy is not a penny. It does, however, give us some spirit hearts, which, let's face it, we are going to need all we can get. Do I see any tinted rocks at all that I can bomb with my one bomb that I have? Not looking 
super hopeful on this one. Well, I got enough keys to where I don't feel like it was a wasted effort. This is way out on a limb. I'm gonna try the bomb here. Ah, I was hoping that would be the second secret room, but sadly this was not the case. It was a long shot. Sometimes you roll the dice, sometimes the dice roll you. In Soviet Russia, dice roll you. Yakov Smirnov hasn't been socially relevant for since, like, the 80s. But, what you gonna do? My knowledge of pop culture is pretty much stalled in the 80s, where I left it. I've spent all week watching reruns of VH1's 80 nostalgia shows. That hasn't um, improved my knowledge of current pop culture or one iota. But you never know, the 80s might come back into style. There's my one penny. Well, I'm reasonably certain that I'll be able to go into pretty much any damn shop I want. Unless I get a Bomzar key pill. Pin! I can deal with this. Wow, that did a great job. And we have a question mark, which was a pentagram for damage up. Neat. And a deal with the devil room, which has who the hell knows, who the hell knows, and who the hell knows. So, no. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to uh, skip on that one there. And... Which is a shame, because I hardly ever seem to actually get deal with the devil rooms anymore. Whether this is because the random number generator hates me, or my piss poor gameplay, I do not know. But someday, we may hope to have an answer. Okay, I need a game-breaking item to show up and help me out. The cellar instead of the basement is actually pretty helpful here because it has spiders as opposed to flies, and spiders can be hurt by my once per room floor creep thing going on here. Going on, going on here. Speaking of going on here, do we hit the arcade? We'll check it out. Yeah, because there's a judgment guy there whom I will definitely want to take the items from. I'm gonna explore the rest of the floor first. That was... that was beautiful. That was waving the red cape and dodging a bowl. And I forgot what I was saying just now. Right. Um, are all of our items going to be question mark items? No, that's just this floor. Well, I don't have 15 cents anyway, so... So much for that. I think that's the whole floor. Alright. Arcade time, I suppose. I'd like for this guy to pay out. If we have to, we'll use the blood bank to affect that outcome. Come on. Don't screw me, guy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, uh, well, that'll kind of... That's good for our purposes, I suppose. I would, I would like to not have to use every single ounce of health and money at my disposal. Oh, he paid out. And we got Mom's Coin Purse. Lots of pills. Will they be good pills? Paralysis is not a good pill. Uh, pheromones can be. I found pills. And... Luck down. Great. Complete waste, that was. So... Eh, I'm not gonna blow them up, because... I do actually have a chance to get angel rooms. 
but I want those guys to know that they just barely did luck out. If I was a cruel master, they would be punished severely. I am tough but fair. Down, down into the catacombs we go. And those fires. I got shot by those fires twice last time. Oh, come on! Really? For reals, for serious, game. All my spirit hearts just... Blam. Just like that. Alright, I would like for this broken magnet to be working. Um, how about now? No? Alright. And I see a tinted rock in the corner. That will come in handy. This allows me to save keys at random when I open things, which, you know, I've got enough keys that that's not a concern. Whoa! Wall crawlers. I almost let that thing shoot me. I very nearly did. Alright, last bomb. Do me proud. Keeping alive our hopes at a deal with the devil room. So, that's cool. Over here, over here, yay! Need to remember that I have that lemon thingy. Wow, that was a simple enough room. What's the catch? Ah, there's the catch. Okay, not bad. We got some hearts lying around, building a health buffer. If that is something that we wind up needing. Danger! Much, much danger. Abounds in this room. There is shit blowing up all over the place. I don't think I've even seen this room before. Frankly, I'd be just as happy not to have to see it again. Honestly, very ner nerve wracking. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Oof. Scapular. You're damn right, I'm taking that. Finally, a uh, mob trap room that is actually worth the damn. I just barely do have enough range to not feel terrible about this. I almost managed to screw it up anyway. Hey! Piece of cake? Oh good, we're back up to 99 keys. That was a pressing concern for me. He don't have any bombs. Right. This could be filled with danger and woes. Okay, not as bad as I thought it would be. Not bad at all. And we have a bunch of stuff I can't afford. How are we looking at map coverage? We still got a room I can go back to and check out after this. Polycephalus. Pop up. Yeah, perfect. That was a perfectly placed lemon. And hey, there's that angel room I was talking about. And we got a magic scab. And we got three free spirit hearts. That was just fine in my estimation. Now, do I go all the way back yonder and check out that one room? Yes because it might be useful somehow. I would love that bomb, but again, not gonna take damage just to get it. Too bad that broken magnet only kinda halfway works. Hey, sloth! Meat! Bob's rotten head! 
that will be perfect for just right at this moment to bomb some things that need to be bombed, and then I can go back and get my lemons again. Wait, what was I going to bomb with this? It was a rock that led to some kind of thing. I know damn good and well I had a plan for this. Yeah, here we go. And that failed to create the bridge I needed. But I also have a bomb, and I don't know where I got it. There we go. And there were two extra bombs in there, so all is well, and all is well, and all will be well, and all manner of things will be well. Now, give me back my lemons! Let's, uh, make our way back. Could use a speed up. That might be a fun thing for me to get. Tick attack, tack, tack, tick attack. Yes, yeah, already been in there, so. Next floor is a what? This progress seems to be a little slower than I would have expected. Not really sure if that's just my imagination or if there's something to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad. Frankly, surprised I made it out of there without taking damage. We have an angel precedent going on, though, so hopefully I'll find another one of those. Dissipate the ornery creep. Awesome. Now do I go ahead with the curse room, sacrificing the whole spirit heart? Yes. Yes! Thank you, Miter. That will give us more spirit hearts in the long run. And the goat head will ensure that we get more rooms like that in the future. So, curse room was great. You know, not always great every single time, but you have to temper your expectations, and then when you get something awesome from the curse room, it makes you feel real good about it. Uh, let's see. Get those out. Trying to watch my ass on three fronts at the same time. It's causing me a great deal of consternation and confusion. Thing damn near shot me. How could it? Thought we were friends. Nope. Nothing good in here. For now. For now. We shall meet again. What shot me? Oh, right. Those things. This is an absolutely friggin' terrible room. I have said that before, and it is still the case. Nothing's changed. You know what? Lemon party. That was the place for it. That room could very well have taken every last bit of my extra health. I kinda like this room, almost certainly will. Sure. Okay, this is going off the rails fast. I do not like that. Do not like it one little bit. Not an iota, an ounce, a jot, a wit, a bit, or any other measurement that can be used. That's better. Okay. That brought it back around some. Battery. I'll just hang on to that until I see if there's something I can exploit it with. Perhaps in here. One plus one. That would be great to get. So, I think what we do is we play the blood bank a little bit. 
use a bomb to get this? Sure, I'll do it. And that gave us some extra health. For that thing that we were talking about. Okie dokie. A little sloppy, but worked out. That room did. Yoda, I talk like. When confused, I get. Or I might just find enough money in the long run. Not being able to shoot for a second after using the lemon mishap. Really throwing me off. Yeah, eh, I needed that. Alright then. I mean, I'll still use the blood bank a little bit. Wait, I shouldn't. I don't know if- I, do, I don't remember if the blood bank affects my chances. Oh wait, we got the goat head, so it doesn't matter. Even so, I'm gonna fight the boss now. And then we'll go and do little... Um, nitpicky... Optimal play stuff. Mega fatty. Very dangerous enemy. It just did land on my lemon attacks. If I did accidentally get hit here, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because my nun's habit would recharge my lemony stuff. And you saw how much damage that did. Alright, jump. Haha, -ha, that'll do it. It all went according to plan. Damage and range up, and... Oh, right, we've already been in there for this level. Okay, now, what was I going to do with all this? We need to take stock of how many hearts I have lying around, and then play the blood bank accordingly. There's a half. And there's a half. And also, there's another room that we can check out. So we're looking at two plays thus far. Maybe more. We'll see how this goes. Oh, hi, Gordy. Ah, he should have stayed on that thing. My damage towels. My damage towels. You're avoiding my damage towels. Actually, I don't think it uh, really mattered. And another two whole hearts for that blood bank. So, six plays we've got total that we can do and still completely refill our health. I am cool with that. Here we go. And a one. And a two. And a three. Four. Yeah, that uh, one plus one free super, super paying off. In fact, it would behoove us to gamble some, but instead I will save it for the eventuality of more shops. Let's just go pick up our hearts and be on our way. This was a good floor. I liked it. Good times, good times. Oh, almost ran right into that. Again. And again and again and again. This is kind of tricky. Okay, we're about done here keep saying that, and yet we keep being on this floor. Was there anything else in there that I wanted? Uh, well, now that we've got tons of money, I'll just go ahead and take another bomb. Well, I can't say we have tons of money. We have adequate reserves of money. 
we have sufficient for another shop kind of money. And really, isn't that what you wanted? Same thing again, yes. Okay. Just double checking. So, what are we on here? The depths. Not the necropolis. Um. Piss off, Rubberhead. There we go. What horrors await us in this room? There's a lot of bullets flying through the air here. Not sure I'm going to be able to dodge them all forever. But I don't have to dodge them forever. I just have to dodge them long enough to shoot these guys. Uh, which isn't happening with the kind of alacrity I would like to see. Hey! These guys are flying through the air, apparently. Um, nifty, I guess? Good for y'all. Hoverworms. Very, uh, very prominent in, uh, the Midwestern states, I hear. So I wonder if this challenge goes all the way to the heart. We'll find out pretty soon. Until then, we just relax and take in the atmosphere, I guess. Flat Penny, Wealth of Answers. Flat Penny gives us keys when we pick up pennies. Any other time, that would I would be overjoyed, but I think we've got enough keys for the time being. So I'll just stick with my poor old busted ass broken magnet. See? We've even got more keys now. More keys. Just all the time. Happy to have them. Hey, it's a pill baggie that will allow us to carry extra pills. And we also get a free pill, which is range up. Cool deal. And I would buy that one, but I haven't the cash. But I suspect that I will get the cash before this floor is over. Come on. There you go. Can I get one more out of it? Hooray. Go at me. This challenge is actually kind of fun. Now that I've said that, something terrible will happen. Um, okay, enough with the keys, guys. It's cute at first. The gate! Actually, pretty dangerous boss. And that lemony mishap did not hit him. If you go down in front of that guy, he can really wreck your shit with curly lasers. Oh, lemon mishap time. That got him. Ah, I did not realize that thing was jumping and hitting me. Okay, what's this? Torn photo. Tears and shot speed up. Very handy. Also, now I can afford to go buy that other pill, but what's in here? Dead Cat, which I don't want. Spirit of the Night, which I kinda do, so I'll take it. Now I can fly. And Spectral Tears. This will allow me to use some of my favorite strategies, like fly away before I get hit. Hematemesis. There was not a arcade on this level. If we can find a blood bank, we're going to be sitting quite pretty. Because there were three hearts in there and two in the room to the left. Yes, a blood bank would be awesome. 
trying to lure him in. You too. Couldn't quite make it in the last one. Um, don't see any tinted rocks there. Getting yanked around by this magnet type thing in the middle here. Hey, it's Raph. See, this is a good situation for me to have Spirit of the Night in. Because, as you can see, I'm just kind of doing tons of damage. And now I've got lots more bombs. I love having lots more bombs. Um, I think we're about done with the curse rooms for now. I will blow up all these skulls. Uh, right. Range up. Love it. And don't really need that. So, forward we go. Open the chest, of course. Man, I need a blood bank right about now. Take those in by shooting at their faces. Uh, that room's kind of gone nowhere. Another easy one with Spirit of the Night. I'm pleased with the way this floor has gone as well. Now, am I forgetting anything? Did I go back to the shop and get that other pill yet? You'd think that would be the kind of thing that I would remember. Yeah, okay, I did. Radio then. Heading down again. Probably should have checked for the secret room. Sometimes there's a blood bank in the secret room. Very rare, though. Oh, yeah. Now we've got one. But this is good, because there's a pretty good chance that I will find lots of heart drops as I move along. That worked. Yeah, you get on those spikes and you stay there. I'll just be hanging out here over this pit. More spirit hearts? Good for me. Good for me. Good for me. Whoa, look at this room. There is much danger here, but not too much. I think I can handle it. Ah! I almost ate my words! Who would have thought that hubris would be my downfall? No one could have seen that coming. Lots of explosions. Very good. Luck down. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to take that one. But thanks so much for the offer. Okay, he can fall directly onto a pit. Good to know. Just slightly too late. And the ladder. And a pill. What's the pill? Pheromones. Yeah, alright. I could have probably found better uses for my money. But, whatever. We can later, after the rest of the floor is done and before we hit the mom fight, go in and do some arcade gambling. Uh, now that I think about it, we've still got a bit of floor to go yet. Not sure how much. Is it a lot? I hope it's not a lot. Paralysis. Uh, I don't want that. I've got extra space for pills, and I keep getting crappy pills. I got crappy pills in my last run for most of the run until I got the PhD. And then I got a couple of good pills. Someday I'm going to have a run where I have nothing but good pills. 
But until that day arrives, I'm just gonna have to kind of keep crunching them down and hoping for the best. Hey, there we go. There's some hearts. That's a shitty room to be started in there. That was just brutal. Just gonna fly about the room. Circle strafing to my heart's content. Alright, level, what else you got? Some of these guys? I hear ya. Uh, so you're too smart for that, is that it? Very clever. But not as clever as my shots. Smart college boy, I think you're smarter than a bullet. And we got another one of these. So, lots of potential. If only I had as many heart drops as I had in the last floor. Whoa, hello. That could have been pretty disastrous. Alright, there's the boss. The mom fight. What do we got? Half a heart here. And we have two there. And I think that might be it. Two and a half hearts. Not as many as I would expect out of this kind of thing. And also, the double hearts aren't going to help me all that much. Since I can't carry them all at once. So, might as well get the double first. I can play around with the uh, slot machines quite a bit, actually. In fact, I might as well just keep this up. And it was good that I did that. So, now we got this guy. I'm going to take as much as I can from him. Because hopefully he'll drop the uh, poop hat. Except you know he won't. Not when I'm actively looking for it. That's a bit much to ask. Hey, more good stuff. Really? Awesome! This went really well for me. Okay, which way to the boss? Directly to the right, straight on. And we will be sitting pretty. Pheromones, I believe, charms an enemy. <laughs> which could be nominally useful here. And we hit the first Twice with one lemon. Very cool. Yep, that was the pheromones. Okay, it charms everything in the room. Did not realize that. I thought it was just stuff you were near. Now we know. And I'll probably forget. Alright, we got another lemony attack ready to go on here. Just wait till I see signs of the foot. There we go. Aha! Can we get it to drop again? Yes, we can. And that was the level. What's this? Synth oil. Do we keep going? Nah. I already got that last run, don't need to pick it up again, so... Except it didn't count because it's Cards Against Humanity. I didn't see what that did, but I'll bet it's awesome because it's a really fun game. 
So, there's another challenge run down. We're making good progress. Had fun doing it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.